Hello good people of YouTube, All About Nat is back with another video and back with Sneaker New Sunday episode 11. Now before we get into Sneaker New Sunday I just want to say if you haven't watched um, my vlog from Crep City, Manchester yesterday, please go back and watch that. It was a really good day. I am feeling it today. My legs are killing me. Um, but all worth it. Brilliant day. Nice to meet some of you. Um, and I just want to say also a massive, massive thank you to every single one of you. Yes, 1,200 subscribers we hit today so yeah <laughs> i'm super 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 happy with it i am honestly you guys are amazing thank you for all your support from day one of this channel it's great absolutely great i'm surprised how in some ways how quickly we've got to 1200 um so yeah, thank you so much. I am really, really thankful to every single one of you guys. Um, I probably will be doing a live later on today on Instagram, so go follow me on there, all about Nat underscore, and possibly I think I might do a bit of a sticker giveaway, depending on how many people come on the live. Let's have some fun. Let's do a sticker giveaway. Nothing crazy, but you know, just a little bit of a give back to you guys. Now, Sneaker news. We have yesterday, so today is the 5th, yesterday the 4th, um, the Jordan 4 breads dropped yesterday and you know your girl picked up the GS sizes. Um, I got a pair yesterday pretty easily on the sneakers app. Um, I'm pretty sure there's still sizes going it was definitely a gr release which is all good we love our grs well i do anyway um so they were quite easy to pick up um having seen the fog raids yesterday in the light blue light blue they might come in light blue one day who knows but light bone um yes having seen those in hand yesterday Mm. I think I'm going to do it. I have spent far too much money this week. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, you need to stop now. But I've seen a pair for a bloody good price on the old interweb. So I think I'm going to be picking those up. I'm going to give the camo pants a miss on Supreme. Yes. Being good, I do have a pair of camo pants. Nice, decent, cheap pair from Hollister. I was wearing those yesterday. So if you're in, you know, in, into your camo pants and you need a new pair, Hollister, fantastic. Go get them. Um, so yes, let's think logically. I don't need a new pair of camo pants. I don't need a new pair of trainers, to be honest. <laughs> Got a fair few there that I can wear, but those light bone fogs. Mmm, yeah. Think I'll be pulling the trigger on those. So, without further ado, let's get into episode 11. So, releasing on May the 14th is the Cactus Plant Flea Market Night Collaboration Vapormax. Now, I'm going to be dead honest, you know me, keep it real all the time. The Vapormax has never been a silhouette that I've been interested in. I really don't like it. In a way, it reminds me of a football boot. Now, I used to play football, but I tend to not wear football boots around and about on a day-to-day -day basis. They remind me of football boots, but there is a big but. This silhouette is absolutely fire. Oh my God. The they always have to do this, don't they? They always have to. Let me know if you feel my pain. Why do they always make friends and family releases a million times better than the releases to the public? It does my head in. So they're releasing a light up pair of these cactus plants. Oh my God. So I love this. 
I'm not gonna lie, I love it. 3D puffy lettering, stitched tapering, um, mismatched colouring and a wobbly swoosh. What more could you want in the world? And you've got the little smiley face on the back of the shoe. These are just amazing. You've got the Just Do It coming round the shoe. Oh, I just love them. And yes, your girl will be going after a pair. Will I wear them? I don't know. I'll have to see if I get them, which is probably highly unlikely because everyone will be going for them. If I get them, I will be going for my size. I will try them on. I'm going to see how they look. Um, but as I say, it's highly unlikely that I will be getting them because every man and its dog will be after these. Um, so yes, these are releasing on May the 14th. I'm presuming it's going to be on sneakers out, but yes, it looks like it. And Nike Lab retailers worldwide. Um, Cactus Plant Flea Market is a really nice brand, I've got to say. Um, I've always liked a lot of the clothing they bring out. It's always very limited and it's always very expensive and it's always very hard to get. But I do like it. I wish they would kind of make it a little bit more readily available because it's a really nice brand, it's unique, it's a little bit quirky, um, hence the shoes being extremely quirky. So yes, May the 14th, if you want those, get on it, they're going to be so limited, um, but we'll see what happens. On to the next one. So these have been leaked uh, a long time ago, seems like they've been talked about forever. The Nike Craft and Tom Sachs Mars Yard Overshoe. Now, I do like these. How you would style them with the overshoe, I don't know. Am I going for them? Of course. Um, waterproof Dynema? Dynema? Waterproof Dynema Upper Dual Fidlock Buckle Closures and an updated SFB sole unit featuring a new thread pattern created by a small sipping sipping at the high points of the outsole according to Nike. Bloody hell. Okay, what's that in English please? Um, <laughs> so these are retailing at £390. Uh, the re release date is May 9th, um, Dover Street Market and I'm, uh, sneakers app they are on, on there already it's all going to be raffles it's all going to be limited and the, the likelihood of getting a pair is slim but enter those raffles if you are interested in them so that is the overshoes now onto a shoe that I just think has been done to death and some it is the Billionaire Boys Club and Adidas collaboration, the Hue NMDs. Now, the Hue NMDs themselves have been done to death. Billionaire Boys Club, yeah, <clears throat> they've kind of joined the old bandwagon of Pharrell NMDs. Obviously, Pharrell runs Billionaire Boys Club. Um, these are very meh. As you know, I'm not really an NMD fan anyway. Um, but if you are and you're, you're loving this, this shoe, it is a heart and mind embroidery on the um, midsole, rubber, rubber outsole, um, a knit textile upper and the lining as well. And they come in a blue, black or a green and black. Um, which do I prefer? I don't know, probably the green, probably the green in black, but they are very much a, yeah, whatever, kind of shoe. But as I say, if you're a fan, if you're a fan of NMDs, Billionaire Boys Club, Pharrell and all that kind of thing, you will be able to pick these up. In fact, they have released and they are out now. I just remembered that. They are out, are they out on end? I saw them for sale somewhere earlier on. It could be Adidas, I'm not sure, but they are out, there's full size runs, they are sitting, so if you want them, go get them. Now, the last shoe is, now this is interesting, because we still haven't had 
the Sakai's waffle Nike waffle day breaks or the blazers we still haven't had them they've been pushed back twice and we've already got um, a new colorway that has been leaked so this is interesting um, it's the third colorway um, and these will probably sell out as well I've already entered the raffle for the first lot but it's been pushed back God knows when they're gonna come out, I have no idea. But this is green, pink, and yellow combination. I love it. This is a nice looking shoe. Um, so obviously got the your double, um, double swoosh, double tongue, double uh, laces. And it just looks a da damn nice shoe. I don't know why they've been pushed back twice. That is a bit of a worry. Is it something to do with manufacturing? Who knows? Um, but I am really, really looking forward to when these come out. Will I get my hands on them? Who knows? Once again, it's raffles. You know, I'm not going to lie. I've had a lot of luck with raffles in this past couple of years. But not so much in the last couple of months. My luck has kind of run out. So I'm hoping it comes back for, the, for this month especially. Because May is full of great sneakers coming out. So that wraps up the four for this week. Let me know once again, down in the comments, are you going for any of those? Do you think they're a bit shit? What do you think about the Vapormax? Now, what do you think about the Vapormax on its own? Do you like the shoe? Um, what do you think of the collaboration? Are you like me where, you know, you've not thought much of Vapormax until now, <laughs> until this shoe is coming out? So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. And once again, amazing 1,200 subs. I appreciate every single one of you and all about that. We'll see you on the next one. Keep it real, guys.